Alright, uh, what is up guys? The Casey's here, and today I am um, recording part 6 of the social media app. You guys gave me 10 likes on the last video that I said I'd upload today, so I am uploading today. This is actually my third time recording this video because Elgato has some problems with their uh, software, which is all good because it's still working, I guess, now. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to do it four times. Um, but... I already recorded it and I don't know how to go back on the code because I didn't commit. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what I did and hopefully I don't miss anything. If I do, leave a comment below and I will fix it in the next video or I can uh, help you in the comment section but I'll still fix it in the next video. So let's get right into it. Uh, first thing, not, not the first thing I did, but the first thing maybe you want to do. Um, I created a post VC uh, file of type UI view controller. Um, I created this controller folder and put it in there. But basically, you go right click on the, the folder in new file, and it's a Cocoa Touch class of type UI view controller. And then I just named it uh, Post VC and click next. And um, then I started to write this code. Um, right here, I created, well, first off, I imported Firebase. Then I created an IB outlet, weak var, uh, post text. This is a type UI text view, and uh, this is just boilerplate code right here. I don't even need this really, to be honest. Um, and then right here is our IB action. Um, basically, when the user clicks the post button, it's going to post to uh, it's a Firebase database. Um, it's going to post the text in the text view, and uh, we're getting the current user, so we get their username, user image. And on the post, it's posting the username, user image, and then their post text, um, which is coming from the post text, uh, text view dot text. Um, and then after we get that data there, we're just uploading it right here. Database dot database dot reference dot child text posts. Um, I changed that. Also, I forgot about that. Um, so that. Uh, um, I already have this database used for something else, and I don't want the text and the photo data to be going in the same place. So basically, I'm accessing it from the text posts instead of just post. So I changed that in the feed VC as well. Um, that right there. Uh, so I'm gonna get posts. I changed that to get text posts instead of just posts because um, I had the data grabbing images, and that's not a good idea because it will just crash my app. So I had to create a new child. Um, and yeah, that, that's about it on this. Uh, let's head to the main storyboard. Uh, one thing that kept crashing my app, because I did run the application, um, which took like 20 minutes. It was crazy. I, I actually didn't think it was going to run. But uh, basically on the share button, I forgot to link that up. So I just linked that up there. Uh, it stops it from crashing and then over here on the the share VC um, w one bug with the uh, iOS or Xcode 9 beta is uh, that sometimes you can't edit the navigation bar so you can uh, click and drag right here and add it if you want to uh, edit that um, and then you can like change the name and things like that um, I put share up at the top and then I added a UI text view, uh, constrained it to the sides and the top, and then to the bottom or the top of the button. And then the button, I give it a fixed height, pinned it to the sides and the bottom, and then it's pinned to the, the bottom of the text view. Um, and basically the idea of this is in the next video, um, when you start typing, the text uh, keyboard's gonna pop up and the share button is gonna be on top of it instead of hidden by the text or the keyboard uh, which is a pretty cool little thing and it is working uh, I did test it out I don't want to rerun it because it's gonna take so long but I did run it and it is working um, what else did I change I changed the the color um, because uh, the, 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 the turquoise color didn't look too good and I know it probably could look good but I just wasn't feeling it so I changed it all to blue um, makes it look a lot nicer. Um, maybe one thing we could do is add like a circle view. That, that might be something we could do. It'd be cool. Um, so why not? Uh, especially since 
I just went over everything in like five minutes. It took me like 40 minutes to, to code. Um, let's create a new file here. Uh, it's gonna be, we'll do Cocoa Touch class. It's gonna be a UI image view. Okay, it's gonna be a circle view. I think that's how you spell circle. If it's not, uh, I'm sorry. All right, create. And uh, in here, we're gonna have this little thing is like awake from nib. Awake from nib. Uh, autocomplete. There we go. Super dot awake from nib. Super dot awake. Okay, there we go. And in here, we're gonna say um, circle view or self dot uh, clip to bounds equals space equals true and then self dot corner radius or self dot layer dot corner radius dot corner equals uh, self dot frame dot width divided by two so it's gonna make a circle and uh, yeah so that's good hopefully and then uh, we can just change this image view to circle image view, circle view. And then uh, same here, circle view, perfect. So there's gonna be circles. Uh, it doesn't update it inside of the main storyboard. Um, I don't know why they don't do that, but uh, when you run it, it actually does. So that's all we care about. Um, I think this is all looking good. I think I went over everything I did. Um, Everything is working. I don't want to end this video too short. So why not just create uh, the comment view thingy? Uh, we're going to make that a table view controller as well. Down yonder. Table view controller just because it's going to be just table view cells really. Um, we're going to link it up from this. Oh, <laughs> I didn't update this yet. So you can see um, in the beta, they actually had it switched down here to the bottom, which I thought was super cool. Um, let's see. But they switched it back, so it's not that anymore. Um, two comments. Perfect. Go ahead and copy that. Um, and our comments, I don't know what it's going to look like. Some cool. Who knows? We'll make it look like a post. Uh, maybe. Why not? We can just copy this stuff up here. Uh, this one and this one. Oh, wait, no. This one. We'll just copy all of them. <laughs> and, uh, post them in there. Paste them. Post. Oh, it only copied one of them. That's cool. Whatever. Um, so this is going to be pinned zero tab zero tab zero like so and this cell should stretch there we go um, where are we at where are we at right here sometimes if you just put it back in there again it uh, corrects and then we're going to copy this one paste it in there oh my goodness underneath or pin it zero tab um, eight tab eight tab eight why not right there right like that um, and then like so you can see here uh, what I was talking about oh, geez. Uh, with the, the, the header like I can't edit it or anything so if I go up here to the feed and I drag that one over here, see how it adds it? And then now I can uh, add the name. It's comments and then uh, never. Perfect. Save that. Perfect, perfect uh, comments probably should be capitalized. And uh, yeah, sweet. So the next video. Uh, we'll fix this over here in the code um, so when you type the share button pops up and then uh, we'll get the comments working I don't know if we'll finish that in the next video or not um, 
but uh, we'll, we'll at least get close to getting that done. Maybe start working on the cells, stuff like that. Um, but thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every Thursday, and uh, I might be posting more. We'll see. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.